Do you want to get into online video, but you're not quite sure you're capable of doing it? Well, my guest today, Chris Sprague, is able to help you in kind of a do some of it for you and do some of it yourself model. So today I'll share how that model works. Great, well, we're gonna jump right into the interview now. Uh, I'm gonna ask Chris to just take it away, introduce himself, introduce his company, and tell us a little bit about what they do. Excellent, thank you very much, Brighton. Um, my company's videocontent.agency, and what we do is we work with coaches who wanna create great branded online video content used for content marketing, and create a great video content library. It's kind of like a done with you service. In other words, the coach is responsible for the intellectual piece of the content, as far as the video, the recorded, and the editing, everything else, that's where we come in. So we make it easy, fast, and simple to create great content based on your knowledge. Wonderful. Uh, it's, it's a great model. I love it. Um, maybe you could tell us a little bit about why coaches should be using online video. Yeah, online video and video content specifically allows you to connect with your potential clients in a way that, that audio and text just doesn't. They get a chance to see you. They get a chance to resonate with you. They get a chance to connect with you. They get a chance to look into your eyes. And let's face it, right, Brighton, the eyes are the windows to the soul. Exactly. So when you want to attract your ideal client, you want to be able to look them in the face. Uh, the other thing that makes it very, very important and very key is the fact that you can create one video and have hundreds and thousands and millions of people watch that video and self-select whether they're going to be your ideal, whether they're going to even approach you about becoming a client versus having to go through hundreds of free consulting sessions just to get that one ideal client. Yeah, that is something that, that I just love is not only finding that person that you connect with, but making sure it's the person who you do not connect with. If, they're, if, they're, if you annoy them, just, you know, you don't want them to come to you at all, and they can figure that out by video. Exactly, because as a coach, just real quick, because as a coach, yep. the worst thing you can do, when you're making your money by coaching people, the worst thing you can do is take up all your time with free consultations with people who will never be your ideal client. So whether it's learning to do a DIY with DIY on video content with Brighton or whether it's coming to do a, you know, get a done for you slash with you service like what, what I provide, that's why you need the video content because your time is too valuable to waste on people who will never take advantage of your service. Definitely. So, so when you work with a lot of novice uh, coaches who probably are not familiar with you doing video, and I was wondering if you could tell me what's one of the struggles and how do you help people over that? Yeah, the biggest struggle that I find with coaches in general, whether novice or experienced, is that fear of being in front of the camera. And it's the fear, it's not necessarily the fear of not looking good, it's the fear of not knowing what to say. And it's that fear of, even though I know my content, if I don't have somebody asking me a question or if I'm not in a coaching environment, I don't know what people want to hear. And the way I help people overcome it is I interview them. So for the majority of coaches that I work with, we create a show based on their knowledge with them as the co-host. And what happens is, is that they tell me what the core problem they want to discuss that day is. They tell me the four milestones that a client will achieve and the three keys to success. And I turn around and I interview them about it. And they're, they, in effect, teach me um, how to overcome that core problem and at the same time teach the audience. So it makes it very comfortable, um, makes it very easy for them to get over because it's just answering questions and it's doing what they do all day long when they coach. Yeah, and I like your format. It's kind of a co-host, two people on screen. It's a little less intimidating when you've got someone who's kind of coaching you along as you uh, do your first or do your production. Exactly. Thank you. I was just going to say just real quick, there's actually a psychology to it as well. A lot of people are scared to say the wrong thing or scared to say something that people don't want to hear or won't understand. And if you have somebody on screen with you asking you the question, your brain says, oh, this is the answer the person wants. I'm comfortable giving it. I can answer that question versus, oh my goodness, I have to look at this little thing called a video camera in front of me. What am I going to say? And nobody's going to like what I have to say. So it gets you over that fear of, of people not liking what you have to say by giving you somebody you can talk to and that uh, is really eager to learn what you have to say. Yes, definitely. Um, so if someone's going to work with you, what's one piece of equipment that they need to have? Yeah, the biggest thing I can say is get a really good webcam. 
Um, most people think that you need high high quality, high dollar, you know, professional production cameras and microphones and all the other all the other stuff. Um, the the truth and the, the dirty little secret is, you get a seventy dollar webcam. It's a for for the PC. It's a Logitech. I think it's a C nine twenty or C nine thirty. One of the two. I'm using the C nine thirty right now on a Mac. Hey. Oh, okay, so the C930 is the Mac, the C920 is the uh, is the PC variant, and as you all can tell, high quality video, great microphones, um, which is really the other key. The one piece of equipment is the C920 or C930 from Logitech. The reason it's so important is twofold: one, high quality video; two, high quality audio. Because because Brighton, as I'm sure you probably have found out. People will put up with really lousy video, but they struggle to put up with lousy audio because they can, if you can at least listen to it, you get what's coming through. And even if the video, meaning if it's jittery or something goes wrong, while we're in the video game and we want it to look perfect, people will put up with less than perfect video, but they will seldom put up with less than perfect audio. So the Logitech C920 is a combination of both, great audio and great video. Yeah, and that's how I'm recording my audio and video right now. And I want to comment that if you're watching this and Chris is a little jittery, we were trying, we were having a little technical difficulty. You are experiencing this. The audio sounds perfect, um, but Chris may be a little bit off. I may be a little bit off for all I know. Um, something's something's a little not there technically right now, but this is we're still able to provide great content, and you're still watching. Um, so, Chris, I was wondering why did you select coaches as your as the niche that you're focused on? Yeah, the biggest reason is that I feel coaches from a video standpoint are an underserved market and I'm a coach as well. I started off I started off professional coaching four years ago um, and have progressed through. I've been a coach and mentor all my life, everything from professional bowlers to amateur athletes. In fact, I have a professional bowler who's in a local bowling hall of fame, um, that sort of thing. So I've always enjoyed coaching and mentoring people. That's why I got into coaching. And what I experienced through being coaching was that coaches were underserved in the area of video. And most coaches, regardless of how great they were coaching, were scared to be on camera in front of people on video. And since I've got a background in videography, entertainment, I was videotaping bands back in the 80s and 90s. I was a roadie. I was doing <laughs> You know, all the other stuff I've been in front of the camera, behind the camera for over 40 years now. Um, it was a nice marriage between using that skill set and that knowledge to help bring out and really showcase coaches in their best light um, and knowing it was an underserved market. Great. Well, how about a resource um, that you can kind of name off a book or a YouTube video or a channel or something, a website um, that you think would be great for the viewers to know about? Um, well, I can't give them subscriber nation because they're already <laughs> they're already watching it. Um, and they'll come over. They'll see video content agency. Um, oh, I'm trying to remember. There is a so it if you're on if you've got a Roku, I know it's on Roku, but if you look up a company called Revision Three, mm -hmm. um, it's a discovery communications company, and I believe. They've got a lot of different programs, and the one I'm struggling to remember the name. You might even remember the name. There's a video-based program. What the heck is it called? Um, it's on the tip of my tongue, and I can't I can't remember it. Um, well, the beauty of this is we're recording, so we will add that down in the show notes. I might even put an annotation across the bottom here and <laughs> tell you go. exactly just... what it is with a link and everything. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but it's a uh, film film riot. That's it. I knew it. Could. So it's a channel. It's I think you can get it on YouTube and um, on Revision 3's website as well. But it's called Film Riot. And the reason I really like it is is if you are a little more like I said, Brighton, you're doing great things. I don't ever want to take anybody away from Subscriber Nation and from what you're doing. If you want to go more into video and understand a little more behind real video and everything. Great resource to watch. They do a lot of behind the scenes stuff, a lot of explaining how things are done. So if you're a little more um, in that area, you know, I would say I would say definitely go, you know, go visit them. The other resource I'm going to give you is not really so much a resource as uh, for, for videography or anything, but just as kind of something to watch on, on how it's done and how somebody can be a, a real success. I'm going to throw a shout out to a kid and he really is a kid named Philip DeFranco. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. Do you, have you watched any of yes, Philly? Yes, I have. Stuff? Yep. 
And you know, the the kids the, the kids started doing it, I don't know, like seven, eight years ago. Eventually he sold his, his companies to Discovery Communications and now I think is their VP of something or other. Um, but it's interesting to watch. And the reason I bring that up is because if you watch his his show is a little bit of a news format, but if you watch it, um, it just it'll give you some interesting insights into, you know, kind of how to start creating things that you're passionate about and that other people are passionate about. So there's just two of them. Perfect. And I just was looking up on my phone. Film Riot is also available in podcast format. So um, you can listen to it if you'd like to. Um, yeah. And I like what I like is, you know, helping to explain to people what they should be looking for in those videos so that they can tell there's a, there's a lot of people who are very formulaic on YouTube. But just, just if you don't have the language, you don't necessarily see what they're doing. And it's like, oh, yeah, I know exactly. You know, I need to do that in my video. So I, I hope both of us can help people along in, in figuring out exactly what they should be doing. Exactly. Well, and it goes back to just real quick. It goes back to, you know, your one of your videos about the, the secrets of the YouTube stars. I forget exactly what it's yeah. called, but it's the, the formulaic. And it's it's interesting because, you know, I've got a little bit of a different take on it, but it's the same formula. In fact, if you watch, you know, any of the expert showcase episodes uh, that I that I do, you'll see a very formulaic. You'll see the intro, which is six seconds of, of basically stating why the heck you should watch this video. You got the you know you got the branding trailer and then you pull them in with a hook right afterwards, um, thirty to sixty seconds. Tell them exactly what they're going to find and then, you know, give it to them and wrap it up and and do a good call to action at the end. Which just like Brighton tells you on his video, you have to remember the call to action. <laughs> Everybody, definitely, <laughs> definitely remember the call to action. So we're about to wrap it up here. So Chris, can you tell people how to get in touch with you? Sure. Uh, there's a couple different ways, and I know this is bad because in call to action you should have one, but uh -huh. it really depend. It really depends on what you're looking for. So if you are a coach and you already realize that creating a library of video, a branded video content, is what you need to do, head over to videocontent.agency. Take a look at what what I've got to offer there. Get in touch with me. Let's see if we're a good fit to work together. Um, the other thing is if you're a coach. And, you know, uh, and, and Brighton, I'm going to give you permission to edit this out if you really need to at the end. Um, I'm not sure because I didn't ask you if I could do this. But if, nope, you're a coach, if you're a coach and after being on Brighton's show, you want to be on another show <laughs> that is in a similar format, head over to expertshowcase.com, hit the apply button, send us your information. We'll take a look and see if you're a good fit for the show and we'll get you booked on that as well, which we're about to record on another channel of the episode with Brighton. So you'll be able to see Brighton's episode there as well. <laughs> yeah, actually, this will be before. I'll make sure that we have uh, have links in the show notes so that we can kind of go back and forth and you can actually see the difference between kind of the styles that we record these interviews because they're, they're going to be slightly different or, or probably a lot different, actually. <laughs> Even though we are very similar, uh, there's many ways to do the exact same formula. Uh, but I want to thank Chris for being with us today and sharing this. And I want to let you guys know that you can click the subscribe button here if you aren't already a subscriber. That's my one call to action. But Chris, thank you very much for being on. And we'll see you soon. Great. See you soon. Yes, and subscribe. I did it already. You all subscribe. Brighton's channel. Now, do it. Wherever the button is. I'm going to guess it's like over there. It's somewhere on this screen around. Subscribe now. His channel. Do it. <laughs>